Hi, welcome to today's digital yacht video. Uh, on today's video, we're going to look at our AIS config app for Android phones and tablets, which allow you to actually set up our wireless transponders that's our AIT 3000, 5000, and Nomad units um, from the app. Um, and so, first of all, what you need to do is wirelessly connect to the device. So, um, in fact, I'm already connected here. DY Nomad is my wireless network that I'm on. So once you've connected wirelessly to it, then you just run the app and you've got two buttons here, sync and set up. So I'm just going to go to the sync um, page first. So this is the monitor page. So this is where you get a simulated uh, version of the LEDs on the actual unit. So you don't have to worry about looking at the unit anymore. If it's buried away in the locker somewhere, you can see the LEDs on this uh, page. We can also see the supply voltage. Um, we can see the number of targets that are being received on each of the two channels and we're getting a good GPS position fix. So that's so that's the monitor page, very simple. Um, and also on here you can put it into silent mode. So uh, it's good etiquette that um, you know if you're at anchor in a marina, um, no longer traveling or it's you know, very good visibility then you know reduce the clutter on other people's chart plotter screens by going into silent mode where your transponder then just acts like an AIS receiver so you continue to receive targets but you're no longer transmitting your position um, and then obviously if the uh, weather starts to deteriorate visibility reduces or you're going to be crossing a shipping lane you can take the silent mode off the silent LED goes out and we're now in normal transponder mode and if we had the transponder actually set up we would start transmitting at this point so let's um, take you through setting up the transponder so we're going to the settings page and at the moment it's blank because we've not set this one up so first of all I'm going to set the MMSI number up so let's pop that in let's make sure you get that typed in correctly um, so there, just double take time to double check that, um, then put the ship's name in. I'm just going to put digital yacht. Uh, if you had a VHF call sign, you could put that in this box here. Um, this one is the vessel type, so I'm just going to set that to sailing because uh, it's a yacht. And the last setting there is whether you want to output the GPS position from the transponder onto the NMEA 2000 network. If you've already got a GPS on the NMEA 2000 network, it's probably not worth doing, but I haven't, so I'm going to put that to yes. So that's that. And then the last setting, but uh, important one, is the dimensions of the boat. So, you know, if we were a super tanker now, this would be very critical of getting all the dimensions correct. On sailing vessels, it's important, but maybe not quite so critical. Um, and what these dimensions are is the actual position of the GPS antenna in relation to the rest of the vessel. So you know, I'm going to put that there on the center line, um, approximately two meters from the stern rail. And that's and now do remember that um, with AIS you don't you can't put decimal places in on these dimensions. So it's to the nearest, just round up to the nearest meter. Um, so that's all set. I'm going to hit the apply button now and now that data has now all been sent to the transponder. It came up with a little uh, pop-up there saying settings applied. So those settings now are inside the transponder's non-volatile memory and they'll stay there forevermore. Um, so you don't have to do this, uh, hopefully you never have to do this again unless you change your MMSI number on the vessel. So we're back to the status screen. The TX timeout um, light is solid which means that it's got a good GPS fix and it's just waiting to make its first transmission. If the TX timeout were flashing that means that the GPS position has been lost and you'd actually get poor GPS um, fix in the, um, in the sentence at the end there. Um, so let's just wait for that to make its first uh, transmission. Now the top one there, VSWR, the one that's got nothing in at the moment, that is stands for voltage standing wave ratio and that's a measurement of the quality of the antenna connection, the VHF antenna. So in an ideal world all the power that the transponder sends to the antenna will go out into the air and uh, not none of it be lost. But you know, no system is perfect and the antenna always has, uh, reflects some of the power that's sent to it back to the unit. So this is a measurement of the power that goes out into the air versus the power 
that uh, is reflected back and if on bad antennas or if you've got bad connection or corrosion in the cable then the VSWR the amount of power that gets reflected back increases and if it gets to too high a level then you get a VSWR high VSWR alarm um, so if the VSWR in, in a perfect world would be one to one typically we see up to sort of like two to one even three to one um, the alarm kind of kicks in at about five to one so you know then you'll get the red status LED coming on and a high VSWR alarm so um, yeah it's a good good measurement of the uh, of the antenna itself and we should when it makes its first transmission we should see up ah, there we go now when you're stationary it's every three minutes so it can be a bit boring just waiting for that first transmission but it's now made that it's happy with it it's, the power light's gone green and you should find that that power light will be green now for 99.9% .9 of the time you know, green is good it means that it's passing all its own tests it's checking its voltage its GPS position fix and the VSWR and it's happy with all of that and we've got a VSWR uh, reading here about 2.44 it's a bit high I wouldn't um, you know it's uh, the reason I've got that is I'm using quite an old antenna and it's it's actually indoors um, just next to a radiator so it's probably getting quite a lot of power reflected back but uh, typically you'll see that yeah like I say between about one to one and two to one is is uh, what I'd expect on most installations so that's it um, our transponder is set up we're monitoring it now and uh, hopefully you found that information uh, useful. The AS Config app is free on the Play Store, so please download it. And if you've got an Android phone or tablet, use that with your wireless AS transponder. Thanks very much for listening.